And the thing of the thing guys do is that we guys who say that she's the crazy one, right? We always tell the person we're dating or the person we're seeing that she's the one that's not over it. I've told her I'm seeing somebody else, but she keeps calling me. She keeps calling my line. What do you want me to do about it? If the ex keeps calling the guy, best believe that it's because he is entertaining her. What's going on people? Josh Love Talk here, back with another dating advice. And this time I want to give you five signs that the guy you're dating is not always ex. See, sometimes we meet people because they're single, we catch a vibe and we think, yes, cool, I found the right person for me. But if you're not careful and you're not paying attention to the red flags, this person must still be stuck in the past with an ex. And there's nothing more frustrating than dating somebody that is still um, not over their ex or they're still feeding their ex. So this video, I'm going to give you some signs to look up for to make sure that you don't fall into that trap. The first sign I want to talk about is he will try to change you. So if you're dating somebody that's not over their ex, he will try to change the way you look, the way you talk, the way you act. He will keep suggesting things you should do. So it could be like, oh, why is your hair so straight? Why don't you make it curly? You look better that way. Why are you always wearing makeup? Go natural. Um, or why don't you dress like that? Why don't you talk this way? All those things is, yeah, it comes across nice at first. It comes across like he cares, but really and truly, he is trying to mold you into somebody else or he's comparing you to somebody else. And that person is the person he's not over yet, his ex. So pay attention to that. When somebody's not accepting you for who you are, they're not allowing you to be yourself and they're not accepting that, that is a red flag and you don't need to be in that dating situation. The second sign is that he would always act funny when you mention the name of his ex or when you're talking about his ex. So either it goes silent and avoids the conversation or he gets angry like why are you always bringing up her name? Why are you always talking about her? So when he's doing that, that is because there is something still there he doesn't want to talk about. There's something still there he doesn't want to reveal. He doesn't want to expose himself to show you that he's not over the ex. So pay attention to that sign because if you're over somebody, you're indifferent. You don't really care. You talk about them. You say what happened. You both laugh about it. You keep it moving. It's not a big deal. But if every time the ex comes up, it's like, well, I don't want to talk about it or it goes silent or trying to divert the conversation, that is a sign that he is not yet over that situation. So once again, that's a red flag. Pause, think and act accordingly. The third sign is that he still wants to be friends with the ex. He makes the ex the priority. Like he's like if the ex calls him and says my cat is on the roof, he's going to run and go and be a superhero. Uh, this time you could call him and say, how you doing? He's not interested in talking to you for that long. He would rather rush over to the ex and go deal with the ex situation. And he'll give you that story like, uh, well, we've been friends for a long time or, um, you know, we, we're there for a while and that's the person I trust. That's my confidant. When, you, when you're in that kind of situation, you're going to find yourself competing for his attention. So you don't really want to be in that situation, especially if you just stay dating. Because at the end of the day, if you're dating and you're competing for his attention, what is the relationship going to be like? The fourth sign is that they keep calling each other. And the thing, of, the thing guys do is that we guys will say that she's the crazy one, right? We always tell the person we're dating, the person we're seeing that she's the one that's not over it. I've told her I'm seeing somebody else, but she keeps calling me. She keeps calling my line. What do you want me to do about it? If the ex keeps calling the guy, best believe that it's because he is entertaining her. No woman is that crazy to just keep calling if she knows she has no chance. Well, maybe some women are, but most times is because he is calling her, giving her hope that something might happen. So he's probably having this conversation like, oh yeah, this time last year, remember what we're doing this time last year, we're catching a vibe, we're at this festival, or yeah, this time last year we went to Nando's and I ordered breast, you know how much I love breast, and all those talks, giving us sweet talk, making us feel like, yeah, this guy must not really be happy in the situation he's in. Maybe I've got a chance. And that way she keeps calling, they keep calling each other. That is a super, super red flag. If exes are talking all the time, they're calling each other, don't fall for that. Oh yeah, she's the one that keeps calling me. I don't want anything to do with her. Don't fall for that. They're not over each other. Just let them go, remove yourself from the situation. And the last sign is if he keeps talking about his ex, if he keeps mentioning her name, the name keeps coming up in different conversations. You go somewhere and it's relating things back to the ex. 
that means he's not over the situation that is a red flag make sure that you step away from that situation and you just need to pay attention to those things and trust your instinct your instincts are there for a reason so if you feel it, if you have that gut feeling that something is not right here don't ignore it and don't let anybody gaslight you don't let anybody say yeah it's all in your head you're the one that's going nuts there's a reason you're feeling what you're feeling and most times you're probably right if you just pay attention and and you look hard enough you are probably right there's something definitely going on so yeah don't let anyone gaslight you um if you feel there's something going on address it talk about it and, and see what happens and if you're not sure about the situation your spirit don't it doesn't sit right with your spirit then walk away from it so don't don't get stuck in a situation with an ex it's it's a terrible place to be i've been there it's not cool uh so yeah that is that is my video for today thanks for tuning in make sure you subscribe hit the bell so you get notification when i post my next video Catch you on the next one.